have you ever wondered if there was like a checklist, like maybe a top five things that you need to be doing in order to lose fat? Well, I'm here today to tell you that there is. My name is Emily Quisenberry and I am a holistic weight, weight loss and wellness coach. And I help women learn how to ditch diets, love their bodies, and really find freedom in this area of their life. So I'm super glad we're connected. Before we jump in uh, to the content today, I want to make sure that you get a hold of the freebie that I am offering this week. It is the ultimate checklist for fat loss. You definitely want to get this freebie at, and you can get that by clicking on the orange bar below the video on my blog or by clicking on the link if you're watching this on YouTube that's in the description box. Just simply put your information in, it'll be sent to your inbox. And you'll need to check your promotional folder and your spam folder um, to make sure that it didn't land there. Um, but let's get on with today's training. So what are the top five things that you need in order to lose fat? Now, listen, this isn't magic um, and it's not exhaustive, but these are definitely the top things that are super important in order for you to start seeing some results. Number one, you have to be consistently in a calorie deficit. That means you need to be eating less than what your body needs to maintain its current weight. I'm going to tell you that is not going to be an extreme, extremely low number. And it's, it really is very individual. It's based on your current size and your activity level and your age and lots of different things. But it's important. It, it really is number one. You're not going to lose fat. I don't care what type of eating style you're doing if you're not in a calorie deficit. Um, there's nothing magic about Whole30 or about Keto or about Paleo or about macros or any of it if you're not in a calorie defi deficit. Number two, you need to be eating lots of protein. Bottom line, our body is made up of a lot of protein, our muscles, and that's what feeds them. And Again, that number is going to be different for everybody, depending on all of those things we just talked about regarding the calorie deficit. Number three, you need to be eating whole foods. Things that don't have a lot of additives and things, but guess what? It is not strictly whole foods. There, there really isn't a magic food, a right food, or a wrong food, or a great way to eat, or a bad way to eat. Because number four is sprinkle in some of those fun foods and things that you love every single day into your diet. You do not want to go on a diet by restricting all the things that you love, depriving your thing, yourself of things that <clears throat> you enjoy just to lose some weight. Because the truth is you're not going to keep it off. I've done it for my whole life. If you don't learn how to sprinkle in the things that you love and the treats and all of those things into the way you're eating on a daily basis, you're not going to have long-term term success. And that's what I want for you. I want you to ditch that diet lifestyle that you've, you've been doing. And then number five, you need to be strength training. Lifting weights, building muscle is important in this process of fat loss. And I know so many women are really entrenched in cardio. And there's a place for cardio, but it's not on my top five. It is really a little bit further down the list. For me personally, I do cardio once to twice a week for only about 15 to 20 minutes at a time. Now, if you love to go on walks because that fills your soul and it's good for your head, then great, do it but don't do it in place of doing some type of strength training. If you want more information on how to integrate these five steps into your life, then you definitely need to pick up the ultimate checklist for fat loss. It has the five no fail steps that you need in order to lose fat and keep it off. I really, really hope this has been helpful. So pick up the checklist by clicking on the link uh, below the video 
the, the orange bar or the link below YouTube. And listen, if you need help or support, encouragement, um, you want to have a conversation, I would love that. So simply reach out to me and we can make that happen. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be blessed.